friends in continuation with the previous video I want to add something that uh, if we want to I mean uh, assess the students in a different way what we can do is nowadays what happens when we set question papers expected answers are also given there so in case a third person I mean the uh, examiner other than the paper setter evaluates the students the same kind of uh, evaluation we may get so there is no subjectivity in that evaluation it doesn't play any role the subjectivity I mean you see when we put the questions in multiple choice short answer very short answer fill in the blanks true false kind of questions then the concept clarity is uh, it can be very much achieved so whether the students has got the concept clarity or not so it is very clear it is very transparent how much marks been awarded to particular student so in this way we can be more transparent in our assessment the student is very clear why I am given why am I am awarded these marks why I am getting poor or good marks whatever the case may be it's very clear sometimes uh, after a very short time say for you are appearing on some online examination or so after two or three hours the answers are also given so students themselves can assess them I mean they can themselves understand this much of numbers I am getting so it's very clear it's very open to all kind of assessment which is called as or which is known as transparent assessment thank you